YouTubers, I thought I would do a, um, a review of the latest state of my uh, two-channel system. I don't know if people dig this or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there have been a lot of changes. I've talked about some of them over time. Uh, some of them I only touched on, and I'm going to touch on them a little closer today uh, to catch you up with everything that's in place right now. So here we go. I'm using a uh, Project Experience Classic for my turntable, and it came with a Semico Bluepoint cartridge. So that's what's uh, front-ending the analog stuff. Pretty happy with that guy. Um, I've talked about this before. This is my uh, Jolita CD player. Uh, it has a tube, um, I guess what you'd call a, uh, I don't know if it's a tube buffer or an actual, um, amplifier up to line level. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's a nice sounding CD player. I've had it forever. I think I've had it for at least 10 years, probably more. Uh, so that's my digital front end. Um, and I'm using the analog outputs into uh, my preamp here. And I'm doing that because it has the tubes in it. I don't want to bypass those. Moving down in the stack a bit, uh, we get to my preamplification. I've made mention of uh, this stuff before, but didn't really go into it in detail. On the top of this little stack here is my Conrad Johnson preamp. It's a line level preamp. It's a PV14L. I believe this marks when they uh, first started doing electronic control panels on their preamps. And I'm not normally a fan of this. I kind of like buttons and switches um, and, and things that are a little more tactile. But I also like to have a remote control, and uh, this is what I had to have to get that. Uh, and it's also a supremely well-reviewed unit, and I do think it sounds great in my system. Uh, I got this one off of Audiogon, and it came to me perfect. My only complaint with it is it has a little bit of tube hiss. Um, I've reduced that by switching tubes. This has uh, two 64C tubes in it. It's really a hybrid preamp. So it's not loaded with tubes the way my uh, Balanced Audio Technology preamp was. Uh, so, you know, it's got a, I think it's a FET um, final amplification in it. It's a good unit. Uh, it, the remote control is pretty nice. It uh, lets you switch sources and volume and mute and all that good stuff. Uh, it's a very nice unit and I'm liking it a lot. I think I'm going to stick with it, believe it or not. Underneath it is, uh, you know, this blank-faced thing. That is my new Conrad Johnson Phono preamp. Uh, this is not tubed. This is a solid-state unit, but it's all discrete circuitry. And um, I believe they were uh, made in the 90s. And uh, it is performing beautifully. This is one of those things I, I kind of jokingly talk about how I never hear a difference. I did hear a difference with this. I do hear a difference. There's a lot more detail. Um, the instruments seem to be separated from one another. Uh, it's hard to put into words. Uh, those are the words I can come up with. It has made a difference. I was before running a uh, Project Phonobox S, which was fine. It was doing just fine. Uh, so this one should be better. I mean, uh, its retail price back when it was on the market, uh, somewhere like 10 times as much as I paid, uh, you know, for the uh, Project preamp. So it should sound better, and it does, I'm, I'm glad to say. And uh, it has, uh, it's pretty adjustable. Unfortunately, you have to pop the top to do the adjustments. I believe I have it running at 46 dB in gain 
and I think I have it at 47. Um, is it ohms? I can never remember this stuff. Uh, anyway, I have it set uh, on a fairly middle of the road, um, sort of the usual settings that you'll find for most cartridges. Moving on, I've made mention of this before. This is my Conrad Johnson MV55. This is the power amp. Obviously, it's a tube amp. This thing produces about 45 watts per channel into 4 ohms. It can be converted into triode mode at, I think, 25 watts or so. Uh, I'll probably never do that. Um, at my listening levels, I'll have the preamp at 50 out of 100, so that's halfway up, uh, or higher, so I don't see myself running this amp in a lower gain setting. Anyway, I'm really happy with this amplifier. Uh, it's It's got a, you know, it's kind of uh, something I don't see myself getting rid of anytime soon unless I uh, get a pair of magna planers, which could happen. In that case, I don't know what I'll do. I uh, kind of like running tubes. Uh, I may have to go solid state if I get some magna planers. Uh, we'll see about that. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do on the speaker front. Uh, I'm happy with my PSBs, honestly. They sound great. Uh, but I've missed, as I said in my other video, I've missed my magna planers ever since I sold them. And I uh, would kind of like to get that, back, that sound back into my room. So that's it for the current state of my audio setup. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.